everyone. Okay, so it is snowing a lot where I live. Like, I want you guys to see this. This is a lot for, for where I live in Kentucky. Um, I don't remember the last time we've had this much snow. I think it's been about a year ago, actually. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'm just going to film today in front of this lovely little snowy window. So today I wanted to do my future tattoos and piercings video for the year 2016 because I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this. And I thought, what better to do on a snow day than record a YouTube video because I was supposed to have class today and that was canceled. I work at the university that I go to some and so our offices are closed today so I don't have any work um, today like at school so I was like well this this is just a good thing to do today. So I'm just gonna get right into it and if you see this this is my iPad I just like have my notes written out on my iPad so I don't forget to mention anything. So I'm just gonna get right on into it and I'm gonna start with tattoos because there's way more tattoos than I want than piercing. So the next thing I want um, is the words stay gold on the backs of my legs and I've wanted words like on the back of my thigh like kind of under your butt. I've wanted words there forever since I was like 16 but I never quite knew what to get. I just couldn't decide and I finally decided recently on stay gold because for me it reminds me of the outsiders when um, Johnny's like stay gold pony boy stay gold um, and it's like referencing the poem that says nothing gold can stay. So I just... I just really like those words, so that's what I decided I want on the backs of my thighs. Also, one of my best friends and I are going to the Louisville Tattoo Convention in April. Finally, I'm going this year. I've been wanting to go for the past like three years and I can't find anyone to go with me. So she was able to get off work, so we're going in April and I'm really excited about that. So I'm thinking there I'm going to get the Louisville logo, which is just basically like a fleur-de-lis symbol, but it's like kind of the symbol for the city of Louisville. Um, and I want that on the like inner part of my left thigh to like start like adding to my left thigh tattoos. So kind of like on the inner part of my leg next to like where my Russian doll is. Also I've been talking to a tattoo artist. It's not my artist that I go to regularly, but um, he's like specializes in cover ups. And so I've been talking to him about getting the words on my left foot covered. I think I mentioned this maybe in my updated tattoos and piercings video but um, he is going to cover that with flowers and I really want pansies because to me that reminds me of my dad my dad that's my dad's favorite flower and it just brings back like a large part of my childhood like remembering um, me and my dad planting pansies together so that's what I want on my left foot and my cat just jumped down if you heard a thump he's like right he was like right next to the camera <laughs> weird anyway also, I want something sort of in between my bunny and my Russian doll on my left thigh because there's like a little gap there and I'm, I talked to my artist when I got my last tattoo and he was like, yeah, I'll just put something there. He loves to do like American traditional and even some neo-traditional stuff. So I just told him, I was like, I kind of would like to leave it up to you, like put something really cool and traditional there. So I'm thinking like, um, just like an old school traditional sparrow or something like that. I just want something just really small and just classic and something that you know I'm like that's American traditional you know and then at the end of this year I'm hoping to get all of those things that I just mentioned done before summer just because I want my legs to look more completed before summer um, but this next thing probably will be done next fall or next winter just because of time and money and all that sort of thing so I want the Claudus symbol that I have like right here on my sternum I want that continued into a tree of life piece on my stomach to cover my whole stomach um, and I talked to my artist about it when I got it and so that's why he drew the Claudia the way he did on my sternum and he's all excited he's ready to like add on to it and make it a full stomach piece so I want the tree of life because it's also Irish imagery or an Irish symbol and I just really like what it symbolizes you know like family and rebirth and strength and all that sort of stuff so I just really want like a whole Irish piece to cover like my whole like stomach area so then moving on to things that I will probably get in the year 2017 or maybe even 2018 depending on again time and money and I don't know what I'm going to do after I graduate. I'd like to go straight into my doctorate so I'm probably not going to have a lot of money. So we'll just see. I don't know what's going to happen but these are definitely all things that I do want even if they don't happen this year. I'm hoping they'll happen in the next couple years. Um, I mentioned this in my last 
like future tattoos and piercings video but I still want this the words I'll keep thinking about you and my grandmother's handwriting like right here on my collarbone it was the last thing that she wrote to me because she used to write me notes when I was in college and so I would just want that right there just because I don't know it just means a lot to me and then I also want three butterflies down my left collar or not collarbone shoulder blade on my back um, I want one in yellow at the top for my grandmother uh, one in the middle in blue for my mom and then one in at the bottom in purple for me just to kind of like symbolize our lineage because we were all only children so we were all just really really close my grandmother was alive I also want um, some more things on my left thigh and I realize that all of these things can't happen this year so I'm hoping they happen before like next summer so I can you know show them off in the summer and things like that but I want a gypsy girl on the outside of my left thigh like right under my like cruelty free bunny down to right above my knee I'm um, just a traditional gypsy girl um, if you don't know what I mean like literally just search traditional gypsy girl tattoo and you'll find out what I mean um, and then I also want right next to that on the front of my left thigh I want a compass and I also want that in a traditional style and those two together just kind of symbolize me like I've moved around a lot I don't know like I'm not a gypsy I'm not saying I am but I just kind of like I admire that lifestyle and the compass is just sort of like I said I move around a lot I feel like I don't have a lot of sense of direction with my life and so the compass would symbolize like point me north give me direction things like that so that's basically that I just really love traditional American traditional and neo-traditional and so I just I feel like those two pieces would really just like symbolize me as a person and they would be bigger pieces so it would sort of like complement all the little stuff that's on the top of my thigh you know and also along with that, I would love a bee sort of right next to the compass, right above my knee. I think that's the cutest thing ever, just a bee on the knee, you know, like, oh, I'm the bee's knees, like, I just think that's adorable. And I've wanted that literally since I was like 15 years old. I was like, I'm going to get a tattoo of a bee on my knee before I was even like into tattoos or had any body mods really other than like my ears pierced, you know, or something. So I've always wanted that. So I'm going to finally do that hopefully within the next year. Also, I really want cameos on the backs of my calves. I've always thought that looked so pretty to have just like two cameo tattoos on the back of the calves. And I think I've decided on a lighthouse and a ship because the lighthouse would symbolize my mom. She loves lighthouses. Um, our house is like full of lighthouses. And she's just kind of like this shining beacon of light for our family. And then the ship would represent my dad because he was in the Navy. And like also he's kind of like the strong silent type I don't know that's not a ship but you know what I mean like he's like the strength like the backbone of our family so I just think that'd be really nice to have those just kind of disassemblize my family and also I love anything to do with like a nautical theme you know so the lighthouse and the ship would be perfect and I want them in like the rope cameos you know like the traditional tattoos my cats are running around the background I'm sorry they're being crazy today but um, I've really re recently realized that I love American traditional artwork and that's what I want like plastered all over my body like I have a lot of cutesy tattoos but if I'm gonna have anything else big I want it to be traditional so and then just a couple of other things that I want probably won't happen until after I graduate with my master's just because of money solely um, and also because my mom would probably freak out if she saw me on graduation with a half sleeve but I do want a half sleeve and I've wanted this for years I think I've mentioned this before um, there's Felix creeping along in the background my gosh my cats are in every video because they're crazy oh my god they're so nuts today it's the snow I swear it's the snow they're insane anyway so I do want to have sleeve like I said um, on my right arm I want it to mainly be like the theme of an owl but I also want a pocket watch incorporated and roses of course and I do want um, like some kind of quote I think I have it picked out but I don't want to say it because I don't want anybody to be like oh I want that as a tattoo now um, like just because I said it because I hate when people steal other people's tattoo ideas like obviously we all get our ideas from somewhere but like it's cool if like you inspire people but I don't want people to copy me but anyway so I'm not settled on the quote anyway so you guys will see that if I ever get it done like I said it'll probably be like another year and a half at least before I get that but yeah so I do want a half sleeve with an owl theme and then I also think I want um, the words on my right side covered up or like my right ribs uh, they're done really really badly and I don't I don't identify with like the the song anymore that they're from so I did briefly speak with the artist who I'm 
who is covering my foot tattoo with the pansies. I spoke with him about it and he's like, yeah, it's coverable. We discussed like a lion or a wolf head, something like that. Cause I was like, I just want like a really strong animal, like the head of an animal there, like facing like the front, you know? And he was like, that's possible. You know, I could put a lot of shading and things like that in it. So it's being discussed. But the thing is, I don't know if I can handle the pain of another rib tattoo. I've had two, three, four, five, technically like six sessions on my ribs, like including my sternum piece, and they were all hell, especially the sternum. So with that being on the upper part of my ribs, I don't know that I can endure another session. Like I feel like I've tapped out on the ribs. So that's last on my list because I would like it done, but I don't know if I can handle it. Like my sternum was hell. So we'll just see. Maybe once I get all these other tattoos and go back to the ribs, it won't seem like it's that big of a deal. So. We'll just see, but that'll probably happen next year or maybe even like the next, I don't know. We'll just see. So now that I've talked about tattoos for like almost 15 minutes, well not quite, but close enough. So let's go on to piercings. I really don't currently have any piercings on my list. Uh, the last piercing I had on my wish list was the other side of my nose and I got that done, I don't know, like back in October, was it? I don't remember. Um, so yeah i really don't want any other piercings as of now the only thing i would consider still getting done is my christina i i mean i still think it's cute but i'm just kind of like i don't really want any more piercings i am pierced out <laughs> like i i mean i've taken out a bunch of my piercings recently you guys have noticed that i've taken out a bunch of my ears um i've taken out i've actually taken out my tongue you guys don't know that but yeah it's gone uh and i'll explain that i have a video coming like why i took out all my piercings and things like that but um yeah, the Christina is the only thing I would consider. I, for the longest time, I wanted more collarbone dermals or dermals in my back or in my hips, but I'm kind of at the point now where I'm like, dermals are just a pain in the ass. I don't want to deal with it. My life is getting more and more stress-free every day, and I don't want to like just add a new piercing to have to take care of. So, I'm um, I'm pretty done with piercings. So, yeah. And then, as in my last video, I just have a few more body mods that I'm considering. I would love to get, like, cosmetic eyebrow tattoos because I have to fill my eyebrows in every day. Literally, like, I don't have any hair on my eyebrows. So, before I go anywhere, like, even if I go to the store just to, like, pick up, like, a loaf of bread or something, I'm like, well, I have to put on my freaking eyebrows. So, I would love cosmetic eyebrow tattoos. I, really, the only reason I haven't done it is because there's no one really good in my area at it. Um, there's a shop that's okay at it, but they don't do it a lot, so I would have to like travel like probably out of state to get it done, and I don't want to do that, so that's pretty much the only reason I haven't gotten it done is because there's nowhere convenient close to me to get it done. Also, I'm still considering a boob job. I would love it. I obviously cannot afford it because I'm paying for school and everything on my own right now, so no, I will not be getting my boobs done in the near future, but I would love to get them done within like the next five years or so if I could afford it. That'd be awesome. I really, really want my boobs done. I'm like part of the itty bitty titty committee, always have been, and as my body starts to change, I kind of like just wish I had more there. You know what I mean? Also, I've considered lip injections, but I... I don't see myself getting that done really ever. I mean, like, if a plastic surgeon just walked up and was like, hey, I'll give you lip injections for free, like, sure, I'd do it. But they're not completely permanent. You know, you have to keep getting them redone. They don't always last. And some people, it, like, takes really well, and their lips are huge, and, like, sometimes it doesn't take at all, and your lips don't grow at all, and you just waste too much money. And so for me, that's the reason why I probably won't ever get it done. But Felix is staring, like, super creepily. You guys notice that? Now he looks away that I mentioned him. <sighs> I love him, but man, they're crazy. Okay, so that is my updated future tattoos and piercings video for 2016. I know a lot of things have changed, so I'm kind of glad that some of the things that I said in my last video I didn't get because, I mean, I would probably still be okay with it, but like now I'm like, oh, I don't really want that as much as I want this, so. I feel like I've grown a lot in the last year and matured a lot and I know what I want on my body and things like that. And some of the things I did mention in that video I actually did get this year, so that's pretty cool. So I will link that video below if you guys want to see like how my tattoo wish list has like changed and definitely my piercing wish list has changed and see what all I got that I mentioned in that video, that what all I got this year. So I'm gonna go and probably edit this video because what the fuck else am I gonna do on a freaking snow day? My neighbor across the street is getting out. Like, she's like going somewhere. We had a snow plow that actually ran by while I was doing this video. But, um, 
like the road's not clear still like what is she doing she's like 85 years old oh my gosh people are crazy okay so i'm gonna stay inside all day i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye guys